In the last video, I showed you how to integrate paint spatter images into this picture, which as you can see, I've definitely added to. In this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to find, download, and use paintbrush spatter templates that other people have created for you. I'm a big supporter of making more complicated things easier to do, and these paintbrush spatter templates are a really good example. So, I'm going to open up my browser, and I'm going to go to this website called myphotoshopbrushes.com. All these are free downloads, and it's not just spatter, it's all kinds of amazing things. You should definitely look at them all. I'm going to go to brushes, and I'm going to go by category and find spatter, or splatter, whichever. Press filter, and you get all these. Click on any one of them, and press download. Now once you do download them, you want to unzip them, so you click on the download, and this depends on whatever browser you're using. And then you want to move it into a specialized folder. I've created one. And then all you do is move it in there. And I've already done that, so I'm not going to replace it. And then we open Photoshop. We grab our brushes tool. We click on the little brush options button in the options panel. We click this little triangle right here on the right side, and we go to Load Brushes. And you just find where they are. And just grab them all. Press Open. And now that they're there, just open up any one of these guys. You can see there's tons and tons to choose from. We'll try this guy. And now we're going to choose our white background layer. The one that we've used as reference is now actually going to have a different effect. Brush is way too big, so just plop one on, and there you go. That looks like a terrible put position to put it in, so undo that. And we'll put it right there. And it's an automatic thing. It just adds it for you. It's really, really cool. And feel free to try any one of these to get different effects. It's really quite amazing to watch, to look at. And change the colors, do different things. And just have fun, go to town. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you a little technique that I think the previous image did that shows basically spot, a spot coloring technique. It creates a, a bit of a retro feel that has an artistic edge to it that I think you'll like. It's really simple, but it's an effect that is I've seen a lot in, in different types of images.